the, my next uh, maritime model for trains will be uh, something slightly different to this which is the Great Eastern which I released just recently this is the static version and over here I have the uh, version set as a locomotive so this is scenery and that one's locomotive and uh, the model that I've just finished and which I should be releasing um, back the end of the month um, is this little diminutive craft which is a Victorian steam typical Victorian steam launch uh, running from the late 19th century right the way through into the 2030s after the Second World War and uh, even today there are preserved examples so let's just set it going reason she's not moving so I need to check that out but um, uh, I'll fix that and uh, there's also will be a static version which is this one here as you can see she's only a 30 foot long so technically she's a boat not a, a ship and uh, oh I know why that one's that's actually set to control the Great Easter so here we are and let's set her going There she is, a little, don't let her go too fast, a little steam launch, a little chug away and these were uh, very popular in the Victorian period and they would be used on rivers, lakes and you know, around the coast and uh, so it's a bit of a contrast to my previous uh, ships which you can see behind her here and indeed you can see Great Eastern over there, quite a massive uh, ship and she'll just chug away. So again set as another locomotive and I've actually called the uh, this little steam launch I've called it uh, Little Giant after Brunel as a tribute to Brunel and you can see that on the bows there Little Giant and she'll just chug along. I've not been putting any passengers or any figures in these models because they would just push the poly count way up and attachments I had all sorts of fun with Great Eastern uh, trying to use attachment points and losing the reflection and or it was only reflecting uh, things that had been attached to it such as uh, lifeboats and the paddle wheel bogey so eventually with Great Eastern I had to just turn it into one massive bogey and uh, the actual model of the or rather the main part of the ship is just a, um, a hidden box inside the hull. So there we are, a little, <coughs> a little steam launch with its cabin and uh, accommodation and a um, little steam engine in front. I, I don't know, I haven't even bothered to, <coughs> to model the rudder or the propeller, it was just unnecessary uh, mesh. But um, another little addition, and very, they're always kept very clean, very white, and it's got a sort of a carmine colour to the lower part of the hull. And it's got its proper sailing lights, which are uh, white front and back running lights. And then the lights here are red and green. Uh, red for the port side, green for the starboard side. Port is the left hand side when you're facing forward and uh, she just putters along you don't need to give her any sort of speed at all but there we are uh, don't turn into a speedboat no, that's so that's not going to be another little addition and i would anticipate releasing that at my next website update so little steam victorian steam launch little giant heading off into the sunset There we are, and uh, eventually I think she's going to, unless I sank Great Eastern, which I might easily have done, is she going to appear? Oh, there she is. <laughs> so you do get a, an idea of the scale. We're too far away at the moment for her to appear. I've got this set on the default 
uh, viewing distance so which I really should set a bit uh, deeper a bit longer uh, but you can see now the two ships you can see now the two ships uh, or rather the ship and the boat so here we have the uh, little giant rushing to try and catch Great Eastern with a late passenger perhaps and uh, and she's on the same piece of invisible track as Great Eastern that's why she's heading towards and then we've got the other Great Eastern over here as a static model you should really only have one at a time although two were intended to be built Bruno did intend there were that there will be two um, uh, of these massive ships in order to serve the uh, international uh, circumnavigating routes that he planned for um, his massive iron ship. But the little, the little uh, steam launch wouldn't have gone very far. It would rarely have ventured this far out into the away from the harbour um, unless it was very calm weather indeed and uh, she's running on invisible bogies on the invisible track she's actually making she is on the same track that's a great reason so she's going to turn in a moment you can set the track for quite tight curves for this i'm assuming that invisible track in order to sort of populate or to have your harbor thronging with ships you would set a number of different tracks don't link them together otherwise the ships will collide they might even pass through each other if you're not careful so uh, you need to set the um, commands if you're uh, designing a session you need to set the commands fairly carefully just get a bit closer to her you can see small as she is quite a nice little model so again i'll try to keep the polys as few as possible try to keep the detail to an absolute minimum so I've sort of, um, I've also kept the textures right down, which means I haven't put flags on her. Ideally she should have some sort of yacht club pennant on the bow flag and the national flag on the stern. So if we were doing, say, the um, Hoth Yacht Club, then she'd have the, either the Union Jack if it's before the establishment of the Free State, or the tricolor, Irish tricolor, if it's after the establishment of the Free State, 1922. So there we are, quite a nice little model, I think anyway. And still she's, it just shows you how big those ships are. She's still some way off, we get getting anywhere near there. Okay, so there we are, so that's our little steam launch, our, my little steam launch. I hope you find it a use find a little home for her a little berth and uh, as i say do remember there's also a static version if you just want to use that uh, there would have been lots of them scattered around uh, rivers as i say inlets on lakes i think there's one still running on lake windermere in cumbria in northwest of england at least one but i'm sure you know of others that are preserved and operating right around the world so I hope you've enjoyed this video, introducing my next little model, the little giant, and um, she's going to be the little giant. She's going to be absolutely overawed by the size of the Great Eastern. And uh, if you have enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any queries at all about any of these, please leave a comment. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube because you know it encourages me to make more of these videos and to show off my models before even before they're released so i expect this one will come out probably end of march early april 2019 so not too far away now so here we are here's the great eastern just a last look back and here's our little steam launch absolutely diminutive steam launch and it will actually couple up to Great Eastern because it is a locomotive. So you have to be careful to avoid that. Uh, so a last look at the steam launch. And she's puttering away. And uh, as I say, hope you've enjoyed the video.